I'm Michelle from TELUS World of Science Edmonton, coming to you today from my kitchen with my assistant Jackson. We are going to do some at-home science with you today. We are going to help you learn how to blow bubbles in your house using items that you already have in your kitchen. So our bubble solution is a mixture of four cups of water, about one cup of dish soap, and a third of a cup of honey. It helps to make our bubbles a little bit stickier and stronger, and as you can see, it works really well. It makes nice big bubbles. Um, you wanna dissolve the honey into the warm water, and then stir the dish soap in gently so you don't get a lot of foam on the top. And then we raided the kitchen to find all sorts of bubble blowers. As you can see, Jackson is having a lot of success with the funnel, but we can also use slotted spoons, um, straws, cookie cutters, we even made some bubble blowers out of some pipe cleaners we found in our craft kits. But my favorite one, whoa, that's gigantic. My favorite one is the potato masher. It makes a really cool mountain of bubbles, which is lots and lots and lots of fun. So you can explore, check out the bubbles, make a big mess. I recommend having maybe a few cloths or towels on hand yeah. to make things a little bit less messy, right? Yeah. Excellent, okay, challenge. Are you ready for a challenge? Yes. Okay, the challenge is this. Can you blow a bubble on your hand? Easy. And why are you doing that? Because bubbles don't like dry things. That's they right. like really moist things, right. like soapy things. Right, good. So oh. he can blow a bubble on his hand if his hand is wet. Oh, that's not working. That's okay, try again. That's the cool thing about this. We can keep trying. There, he's done it. Okay, now, Alex. challenge. Can you get Mickey into yes. the bubble? Oh, why didn't that work? Because he's dry. Right. But if I did that and then did that. There, this. give Mickey a bath. Can I help you? I'll blow the bubble yes. on your hand. Yeah. Make it a little bit easier for you. Okay. You. And oh, we've got him in there. So as you can see, bubbles like things that are yeah. wet. So you can challenge your children to come up with cool ways to blow bubbles in your kitchen. Thanks for joining us here today. I am so excited to, uh, to have you join us in our science at home. Um, keep watching this space and tag yeah. your videos and pictures with hashtag my so we can see your bubble results. Thanks for joining us for lots of science fun. We'll see you later.